Hi, Barry Foster here, and welcome back to episode number nine of The Scottish Job with Glenn Roths in the seventh tier of Scottish football. And today we've got a pretty big uh, away game, away to Edinburgh South in the league. But before we get to that game, let's take a look at what's been hap happening since our last, uh, our last video. We've played three matches, and once again, we've had three very good results. Um, away from home, we beat Stirling University Reserves 1-0 with uh, Scott Miller getting the goal in the eighth minute. We then played Edinburgh United. Uh, this was in the King Cup quarterfinal. We beat them 2-0 with uh, Paul McManus and Harris O'Connor finding the back of the net. And then uh, we went back to the league and we're once again away from home against Loch Gelly Albert. And we had a very convincing 3-0 victory with uh, McLeod K, Paul McManus and Kyle Bell. Bell and McManus both scoring goals from uh, from the spot. So that was a, another very good victory. And as you can see from uh, the schedules here, we're on a great run of victories in all competitions. I don't think I've ever seen a, a run like that in one of my saves before. And um, with the league... As you can see, of course, we are top of the table after 13 matches with 34 points. Canul, four points behind, but they have a game in hand, followed by Nubra uh, on 28 points. And as you can see, Edinburgh South, uh, they, they're coming fifth. They've got 22 points. I don't think they're going to be a pushover at home. I think this is going to be a fairly uh, tough sort of a game. Uh, Daniel uh, Crisp. He could be leaving us. We've got a number of clubs who would like him on loan. And we also have uh, Kenaway who want to sign him. He uh, wasn't too happy because he wasn't getting too much game time, mainly because Denton was playing so well at left back. But anyway, these things happen. And on the uh, financial side of things, well, it's not looking too good. And as you can see, there are finances are now listed as being insecure. Uh, this seems to happen often to me in uh, Football Manager. I must admit, I am slightly over the wages budget, but not by a great uh, a great margin. The board uh, won't increase the uh, the wage budget. I guess you can't com com complain about that. But um, I do have some uh, trialists in. I was being a little bit cheeky. I've got quite a few in, and there'll be a few here I'd love to sign, but I, at this stage, I don't think I'll I'll be able to. But um, we've got a striker in Charlie Higgs who uh, likes to be a target man, and uh, he's, uh, he's done pretty well in three trial games, scoring six goals. Uh, that's one guy I'd love to add to the team. Also, a Harry Lovett, um, a right winger or even a, uh, a midfielder. And uh, he's only played... Um, well, he's actually played three matches for me. He actually did play in uh, East of Scotland First Division... Um, uh, match and he did very well in all three as you can see by those ratings of over um, over a figure of seven but I don't think I'll be able to do much um, signing with the finances insecure which is a bit of a shame but anyway without further chit chat let's go and play Edinburgh South in the league and see whether we can um, make it uh, another victory away from home Okay, the uh, the starting eleven for today's match is Richardson in goal, Denton, Dahl, O'Connor, and Lumsden across the back line. Kirk, Honeyman, Bell, and McLeod K in midfield. Miller and McManus will lead the attacking line, and on the bench, I guess you could say the usual characters of Crawford, Doig, Crisp, Duncan, Duffy, Hamilton, and Brendan Cameron. So that's the uh, the team for today. Let's go and have a chat to the boys. Okay, uh, no uh, pressure on the boys today. I'm just going to tell them to enjoy the match. Let's see what uh, see what happens. And we're using a different skin. We're using the Kajuro dark skin, just for a change to see how that looks. I don't think it looks uh, too bad. It's a little bit different to um, the other skin I was using, the Renzi skin. But we'll see how we go with this one. And McLeod K putting a cross in, but that's been easily dealt with by Edinburgh South. And Glenn Roth's in uh, one of their away strips. Oh, O'Connor. He had a pretty good chance there to, um, pretty good chance to make it 1-0.
but uh, at least we uh, got the opening highlights and I can see an attendance figure here of 19. Surely they'll get more than 19 for this fixture. Anyway, Edinburgh South now with a uh, free kick. Oh, nice looking shot, but he got well under that. So that'll be a goal kick. 19, I don't believe it. Anyway, I don't think anybody's travelled from uh, Glen Roths. We'll find out at half time. Breezy, one degree, so it's a little bit chilly out there. And I think uh, we'll call out uh, we'll call out some encouragement to the uh, to the boys. I've been telling them lately to um, stick to the plan and be patient, and it's uh, it's worked fairly well. But I don't think I can be saying that every match. I think eventually it's going to blow up in your face. Anyway, Denton with a throw. This is Young Kirk, our left winger. And Denton, who can be a winger. That's something I've been thinking about. McLeod K, oh, nice header. But that just, uh, just grazed over the bar. Yeah, Denton can be a left winger. I'm a little bit tempted to, um, if I can sign him for next season, to maybe have him as my, uh, my left winger. Because he certainly, I think, is a very versatile player. But we're fast approaching uh, 30 minutes. See who's going to open the scoring first. McLeod K. Oh, McManus had a good chance. But now Edinburgh South can maybe break. A bit like watching uh, Liverpool play. So they've got players coming into the box. Just got to keep our shape if we can. He comes to shot. Oh, no. Well under it. Always going well over the bar. That's not going to trouble Richardson at all. So it's Glenn Roths who have been uh, having most of the shots so far in this game. We're also um, playing this on 100% uh, screen size instead of the 110 I've been using in the past, just to um, see how it looks. Things are not really too small at, uh, at this size. Anyway, McLeod K cuts it back. This is uh, Bell, I think, to Honeyman. Now Lumsden and Bell. Bit of a cross to, oh, I thought it was going for Kirk. Oh, good save by the keeper. I think McLeod K probably should have beaten the keeper from that range. But he didn't really hit it hard enough. We'll call out a bit of um, demanding mort for the boys. They probably won't like it. But I think we've, um, we've been, the, I think, the better side. Although they've had nearly 60% possession. The highlights don't quite give you th that impression. Oh, this is uh, young Denton. Now Dahl, well, he's playing it very safe all the way back to Richardson. I would have liked to have done something a little bit different. Now they're looking for McManus and they've found him. And this is his shot, but straight at the keeper. Very patient uh, move by uh, Glenn Roths, but uh, the shot was straight at the keeper, so a pretty easy save. Lumsden, maybe with a long throw. Occasionally he does that. Now Denton can go for a bit of a gallop down the left if he wants to. He gives it to young Kirk. He gives it back to Denton. Now Denton's pretty good at crossing a ball. He's looking for McLeod K, but um, he didn't get on to the end of that. Now, Cammy Lumsden, can he get a cross in? McLeod K will. Who's on the end of this? McManus. Oh, just over the bar. Well, I, I would have expected uh, Paul McManus to um, find the back of the net from there. But I think it's going to be nil-nil at half time. One minute of added time, as you can see. I think that's going to be it. 
I think it's a, a half that, um, well, this is a bit different. My, very different. I haven't actually seen this before. Okay, well, um, as you can see uh, from the match stats, uh, 11 shots to two, possession slightly favouring the home side, but um, Glenwell certainly have a much better XG. So uh, let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, I'm going to try and uh, give them a bit of encouragement. I'm going to tell them that I'm uh, proud of everyone's efforts. Let's go out there and win this game of football. I didn't want to uh, yell at them or tell them they were uh, crap in that uh, half because they didn't score a goal. I think they had the better of the half. Anyway, let's see what happens in the next 45 minutes. Oh, Connor, he can, uh, okay, he gives it to Dahl. Going to play it safe again, back to Richardson. Still playing with a positive mentality. Anyway, this is young Lumsden. Honeyman now finding Miller. Miller's been a bit quiet in this game. A little bit unusual. He's normally a bit of a bit of, bit of a top performer. Now Honeyman can. I thought he's going to cross it, but this is Bell. Flicks it to Kirk. He tries the shot, but straight at Fisher. So an easy save for the keeper in the end. But it certainly is uh, Glen Roths doing most of the shooting, but they're just not finding a way to uh, to beat the keeper. But anyway, Miller with a free kick, and it's a bit of a poor one, but he'll get it back. Now O'Connor, is he going to go? No, he's going to go back to his keeper. Okay, Lumsden, a fair way out from his goal, and back to him again. Don't normally see these back passes uh, from Glen Roths. Anyway, good, good pass. Now Kirk trying to find McManus, and McManus does what he does so well. His 22nd goal of the season. It might have taken uh, about 50, 52 minutes to find the back of the net, but um, Paul McManus once again scores the goals. He might be 38, but he's one hell of a goal scoring machine. There's no doubt about that. And I think uh, I think Lane Roths did uh, deserve that goal. I think they've been the better side. But we'll see uh, see what happens for the remainder of this half. I think uh, Miller I might uh, sub Miller in another five minutes. He's not having a great day at the office, but most of the boys are playing fairly well. But anyway, a free kick for the visitors. Sorry for the uh, the home side. That's been um, headed away. I think we'd, we'd certainly want to keep winning matches because I think Canul are, are hot on our tail and they do have a, a game in hand. They could close the uh, the gap to only one point. So I'd like to keep winning if we could. Oh, good save by Richardson, but I think he was offside. But it was a good save anyway. Anyway, I think we'll make a uh, substitution very, very shortly. We'll just see what happens with this uh, highlight, whether it leads to uh, anything. McLeod K with a pretty good cross. I think that was McManus again with the header. Okay, we'll make a, uh, a substitution. I think what we'll do, we'll, um, we'll bring on young um, Cameron um, for Scotty Miller. He's not, not having the best of games today, which is um, not like uh, Scott Miller at all. But um, Cameron, he, he's only 16 and he only recently signed a, a, new, um, a new contract. But, uh, but he was scoring quite a few goals at the start of the season for us. So I know the fellow does have goals in him. It might, it might demand a little bit more from the boys. I'd really like a second goal to make it very diff difficult for um, Edinburgh South to um, to come back at us. And I think we'll uh, we'll look to make another substitution around about now. I think on seventy five minutes. So 
Let's have a look to see who would like to uh, come on. I think we'll give um, I'll have to give Volley Hamilton a run. He's one of our new signings. He can come on for um, McLeod K. Hamilton, he did uh, score on his uh, on his debut for uh, Glen Roths, but um, McLeod K has been keeping him on the bench. And that hit the uh, the post or the crossbar. Once again, you've got to have a uh, a poster or a crossbar getting in the way of a shot. Anyway, we went into the last 10 minutes. Denton with a free kick. He normally likes these and oh, that hit the post as well. <laughs> OK, well, football manager does like to uh, tease you with uh, the ball hitting the frame of the goal. And this time it just goes over the bar. So I think we'll make maybe our final uh, substitution. We'll wait for this uh, for this highlight. Hopefully Edinburgh South are not going to come back and pinch an, an equaliser. I think uh, Glen Roths have been the better side, but they're only leading by one goal to nil. And Fisher just driving it straight down the park. Now they've got players forward. Now Mitchell here, oh, well, he just shot straight at the, our keeper. So he probably should have done better. Okay, that's Cameron, but with a bit of a wasteful header. Now Lumsden can uh, maybe look for uh, Ollie Hamilton. This is Hamilton now on the ball. And Hamilton was offside. Okay, we're going to make uh, that final substitution. We've got maybe a bit, bit, bit over seven, seven odd minutes left in the game, and I think I'll bring on uh, Doig. I think we'll um, get some fresh legs in defence, and I think we'll bring him on for um, Dahl. I think that's probably not a bad substitution. But four minutes of added time. And as you can see, 21 shots to three. They've really dominated this game. And this might be uh, one of the last highlights. Just got to make sure we keep them out for the next couple of minutes. We're into the last minute of play. Oh, of course, <laughs> we can't. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, we should have um, probably had more than one goal on the board, but um, we're always running the risk when we uh, we couldn't find that second goal, and they've uh, they've equalised in the last minute of uh, play. Must admit, good header by O'Kane, but um, that is disappointing. Anyway, Denton with uh, a free kick, and that's been headed away by O'Kane again. And I think uh, that's it. Ends 1-1. Well, a little bit disappointed. I think we, we, were, we were by far the, uh, the better side. And uh, it ends 1-1. So um, let's go and have a little chat with the men. Okay, well, look, I've got to agree with my assistant here. I'm going to go with that, uh, that um, team talk. I'm, I was disappointed that that's how it, um, that ended. I think uh, we were certainly worthy of... Um, Three points, and as you can see in the other match today, Preston Athletic and East Houses Lily, they also drew 1 1. So let's uh, go and find out who we play next. And as you can see, it's um, eight unbeaten for Glen Roths following the draw, and that's uh, that's in the East of Scotland First Division B. So um, not a bad uh, not a bad effort, but I really would have liked another win on the uh, on the board for us. And as you can see on the league table. We're sitting on 35 points, but Canul do have uh, two games in hand now, and they're only five points behind. So um, that could end up being a little bit of a, a costly draw. Uh, we play Peebles uh, in three days' time in the league. But what I'm going to do, let's have a look at our schedule. Uh, we're doing very well in the um, in in the cups. We're in th into the um, East of Scotland Qualifying Cup quarter final against. Uh, Lynn Lithgow Rose, 
and that's a home game for us. And also in the King Cup semi-final, we're at home to East Houses Lily. Now, if we do get into the uh, the finals of any of these cup competitions, I, I certainly will show the uh, the final. But what I think I'll do, we'll come back for the uh, Canoel game. Uh, which is a league match, and that's at home. I think that's going to be a pretty big game for both clubs. So that's uh, that's our next match to look forward to in um, video number 10. So that's uh, video number 9 for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do. I'm Barry Foster. Until next time, it's goodbye from me.